So you was you was you gonna tell me one more little little thing? What was that? Oh, I see now. Let's call them the pool balls. Yes, sir. Now, now wait, before you give me your your informed or your creative interpretation, let me tell you what this means to me. Okay. Break it down. See, the the one is is well, is one. Now three is creativity. Mm -hmm. Now one and three is four. That's odd and unusual. Mm -hmm. But more than that, because they're pool balls. Come on now, black man, pool, that's what we do. Okay. You know? Anyway, what is, what, what is it for you? Well, the one and three, you know, most people um, think it's evil. Most people are, are scared of it. Mm -hmm. But um, you need to see it in your own eyes, mm -hmm. under your own paradigm. Mm -hmm. And um, I always recognize that the one stand for uh, the universal prime creator. People call it God, some call it Allah, people call it uh, Olodomari, Yavah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Just the one. If you claim to be a monotheistic believer, you believe in the one God. You know, um, but this is where the trick comes. You know, the three, it stands for the Trinity. But um, I never saw it as father, uh, God the Father, God the Son, and, and God the Holy Spirit. I never did, because it don't make sense to me. I see God the Father, I see God the Mother, and then I see when those two come together, procreate, I see a child is born, which that's why we're able to be here having this conversation, because God the Father and God the Mother came together and impregnate the, wo the woman, the womb of man, to produce offspring. You understand? So therefore, we honor uh, the Father, we honor the Mother, most definitely, and then we honor the Holy Spirit, which is which is the uh, new generation that's produced. Mm -hmm. So that's the one and the three to me.